Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I'm going to show you how to change measures using a slicer. Let me show you what I mean. So this is a request from uh, Sam. Uh, hi Sam. And he was asking me if uh, I had a video or a trick where I could change uh, the measures or the metrics using the slicer and uh, I didn't have it but I thought it was a great idea and actually this is something that uh, there is a blog post already online and I'm going to show you so this is the Power BI community blog and uh, Enterprise DNA they already did a, a blog post on how to do this and here is a short video on how it works but they didn't go into detail on the video on how to make them uh, he did explain it here in text so there is a good explanation on how to do it so i will just explain it shortly but there are a few things that i want to show you that he didn't do that it will help um, uh, with the visualization of this uh, graph and this technique so if you want to follow along, I'm going to give you a link to his blog post where you can download his file, right? And then you can just do the change that I will do afterwards. So when you download the file, this is what you will see. There are three measures, total sales, total cost, you see that the graph change, and total profits. And those are these, total costs, total profits and total sales. So these are measures that he put on a slicer. So the question is, how did he do that? Well, the trick is you go into Power Query and you create a table. You can do it here by enter data or you can just import it as you like. And then he created an index to be able to sort these in the order that he wanted. Once he had that, he click close and apply and loaded it into Power BI. Now, this table has to be disconnected from the other ones, okay? So no relationships. Make sure that Power BI does not find a relationship there, otherwise it won't work. So one that's, that's done, what he did is he took that created table and then he just did a slicer on that and then changed it to Horizontal. He had chosen one. And there you have the three, right? So to create this slicer, that's not difficult at all. Now, to make this trick work, what you do is you create a graph with dates. And then like that and then you add this measure that he created okay let me show you what that is so this is a switch function i already have a dax friday video on switch so i'm going to put a link on the description box so you can watch it in case you are not familiar with how this function works i explained that but very quickly what it does is it says when the measure dimensions measures. So when these, which is now a slicer, is equal to total sales, that means when somebody has click on total sales, then display the metric total sales. Okay. And then when total cost is selected, display total costs. And then when total profit is displayed, selected, display total profit. So, so far, so good. If nothing is selected, return blank. Now, this is what it does for me that I don't really like. If you don't select anything, look, this is not uh, very user friendly. And what we're going to do is we're going to change this measure a little bit just to make it work even when nothing is selected. So what we're going to do is we're going to add just a few things. We're going to have an if statement. So we say if measure dimension measure so if the column measure is being filtered that means if somebody has click on something 
then do the switch, right? So far, so good. But if nothing has been selected, we want to have a blank graph. So this is the difference, right? We won't display an error, it will display a blank chart. So something is selected, it displays here, nothing is selected, it is blank. This is better, but it's still not good because you might wonder that if something is broken or there's no data available. So what we're going to do to make this complete is to create a new measure with a title that will tell us exactly what's going on and what to do. So click on new measure, title, and then we do the same if our measure column is filtered, then give us a value for it. So tell us which one we've selected. And then we want to add a little bit more text. So concatenate that with by date. You'll see in a second what this does, don't worry. And then if it's not filtered, well, what we want to do is we want, we want it to display this text. Make a select oh, selection in the filter above to display data in the graph. So we're actually giving them instructions. This is what you need to do in case it's not obvious, okay? So let's put that in the right place there. And now we bring in there, you have to use a card. We want to remove the category label, that one off and a little bit smaller. It's a bit too big. So now I think we're complete. So if nothing is selected, then it says make a selection in the filter above this one to display data in the graph. You can write anything you like. This is just an example. Now, if I select something, it says what I select total sales by date, total costs by date, and total profits by date. Th this way you make it clear to your users what they are actually looking at. So even if one of these are pre-selected, which you could also do, so I always wanted to show total sales. Well, that's easy. You just go in here and say, if blank, show total sales. But in case you want it to be blank, this is the way to do it. And just ask them to give instructions to actually make a selection. So uh, great trick, right? If you want to download the file, remember I put a link to the Power BI community blog post, so you download it from him. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask them also. Great. Okay, so this is all for today. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions like Sam did, uh, make sure you let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below and uh, subscribe i publish videos every week and i have dax fridays every friday so don't miss it have a great evening bye